Morning, it is filled to the brim and it is Tuesday, November 17th. And wow, you know, it's interesting how things shift and change around here. We just in Santa Clara County in California, if you're listening to this from another part of the country or the world, we just shifted into a very restrictive tier due to our COVID surges. And it's interesting how things can change quite quickly in life. And in the storms of life, storms can come quickly. And that's what the Holy Spirit is speaking to me today about is building on the rock, building on the rock. And uh, it's part of our cultivating of our fruitfulness is that we are solid people because we're built on the solid rock who is Jesus and his teachings. And we don't shift. We don't shift with the circumstances. We don't shift with the storms. You know, I woke up. The first thing I thought was the parable of Jesus about building your house on the rock. And I had a dream last night about dancing in the storm. And it was a monsoon storm and uh, we were dancing in the storm, me and a bunch of other people and how the Lord, there was joy in the storm. I want you to know that the storm that you may be facing and the storms that we are facing together in this COVID season, this crisis, pandemic season, of our lives, there can be such security. There can be fearlessness, not fearfulness, because we build our house on the rock. You know, Jesus spoke this parable at the end of his Sermon on the Mount. This was the conclusion to the Sermon on the Mount, this parable about building your house on the rock. But right before he speaks, that parable, he talks about bearing fruit, bearing fruit, how a tree bears fruit. And I want to read that to you, Matthew 7, 16, 17, and then verses 21 through 22. And he's speaking about the prophets, the false prophets here. That's kind of what he's addressing is as he's speaking to the crowds, listening. There were simple people. There were many of them were farmers. He was out in the fields, out in Galilee, which is out in the field area. And he speaks to these people and he tells them about these false prophets that are trying to allure them through their pro prophetic words and through miracles and different things. But he says, you know what? The important thing is the kind of fruit they actually are bearing. Here we go. By their fruit, you will recognize them. Verse 17, even so, every healthy tree bears good fruit. If you're healthy, you're going to bear good fruit. But the unhealthy tree bears bad fruit. Verse 21 through 22, not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only he who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. That's the key. It, are they surrendered to the Father in heaven? Many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name and driven out demons in your name and done many miracles in your name? Verse 23. And then I will declare to them, I never knew you, depart from me. The word knew, I never knew you. The word knew or know is an intimate term. It's a sign of saying, I never knew you intimately. And this is the context to the, the parable of building the house on the rock is the fact is this, you need to know me, personal relationship with me, and you need to obey the Father who is in heaven. This is foundational. This is what it really means to bear good fruit. It's not always, and it's not only about some sort of manifestation, some sort of presentation. It's about the content of your character. It's about the content of what's going on inside of you, not external. Remember, in that day, the Pharisees, they washed their hands. They, had, they did all the right religious rituals to look like they were righteous, but their heart was wrong. Their true fruit was bad fruit because it was about their spirit. Their inner self was not right with God. So Jesus goes on and he tells the people in the Sermon on the Mount, the final parable, Matthew 7, 24 through 27. 
So he says this, so as a result of that, what he had just said about bearing fruit, so everyone who hears these words of mine and acts on them, not being just a hearer, but being a doer of my word, will be like a wise man who built his house on the rock and the rain fell and the floods and the torrents came and the winds blew and slammed against that house. Yet it did not fall because it had been founded on the rock. And everyone who hears these words of mine and does not do them will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand and the rain fell and the floods and torrents came and the winds blew and slammed against that house and it fell and in, and the falling was great and complete. Listen, storms are going to come. And you know what? How we even live our lives before the storm comes is very foundational to what happens when the storm comes. So many times people want to do prep for the storm when the storm's already there. And Jesus is saying, be wise. Build your house on me and my word. And listen, this goes into making decisions for your life, for your family, for your job and your business or whatever or whatever encompasses your life in agreement with his word because storms do come storms will come and you know the storm does reveal what's going on with your foundation it reveals the weaknesses the inconsistencies the things that you have not built on his word you have not built on your your intimacy with the Lord and that is prime that is the most important thing in your life you know it's interesting with the church that I pastor we have this uh, logo theme for our church keep it real keep it simple and keep it about Jesus keep it real come on let's be authentic keep it simple why are we adding so much stuff you know religious folk in the world add to the word of God to make it complex your walk with the Lord doesn't have to be complex it is simple it is a personal intimate daily relationship with Jesus who is your Lord he's your Savior the Father God is your father he's your Abba keeping it simple and keeping it about Jesus it's so important that we keep it real simple. And Jesus, that's what it means to build on the rock. We choose you, Jesus. We choose you over anything else. Not even when we're just only in a storm, but before the storm. So that when the storm comes, you're not shaken. You stand strong. I want to challenge you. You know, check. Am I keeping it real simple and about Jesus? What's in my life that I've chosen the world and not Jesus? Jesus, I choose you. The storm is here. But the fact is this. He is your rock in that storm. On Christ, that solid rock, I stand. All other ground is sinking sand. God bless you. I love you. Pray about this word.